friends, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm bringing you another video. I'm going to be showing you how I made this beautiful crochet heart tote bag. And here on screen I have listed all of the materials that I used to create this bag. But before we begin, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all of my new subscribers and to all of the people who supported me on my last video. I was not expecting it to do as well as it did. For me, that's really good. But yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy today's video just as much. So let's begin. So to begin making a heart, you're going to take your four millimeter hook and your darkest color of yarn. So I'm using dark brown and you're going to wrap it around your two fingers and then insert your hook underneath that first loop and then grab the bottom loop and pull it up and just kind of hold it in place so that that string that is attached to the ball of yarn is just kind of hanging out and that is a magic circle so now you're going to chain three And then into the middle, you're going to be placing two more double crochets. Make sure that you're crocheting over that loose string because that's what we're going to use to cinch in our middle. And now you're going to chain two and place three more double crochets into the center. Now we're going to chain two again and place three more double crochets into the center. In total, we're going to want to have four sets of three double crochets with a chain of two in between each set, separating them. So as you can see, we currently have three sets of three double crochets in the center. So make sure that you've chained two after. And now place three more double crochets. So here are our four sets of three double crochets. And now you're just going to pull on that loose string right there. And this will cinch in the middle, making the gap disappear. So far, this is what your work should be looking like. And now we're going to attach our chain two to the top of the chain three right there. Make sure you have two loops on your hook. So in total, you should have three. And you're just going to slip stitch. So pull through all loops. And if you need to, pull on that extra string at the back to tighten the circle. Now right where my thumb is at, you see those two loops right there? That's where you're going to insert your hook and slip stitch into. So pull through and pull through. Chain one and now into that chain two space right there, you're going to place eight double crochets. Once you've placed your eight double crochets, you're going to chain one and then into the next chain two space, you're going to place a single crochet, chain one, and then right there into that middle stitch, right there, you're going to place two single crochets into the same stitch. Now chain one and place two more single crochets into the same space. Chain one and then into the next chain two space, you're going to place one single crochet. Chain one, and then into the last chain two space, you're going to place eight double crochets. Once 
Once you've placed your eight double crochets, this is what you should be left with. Right here where my thumb is, is the top where we slip stitched into, remember, when we first started off our row. And you're just going to insert your hook and slip stitch into there. But I did not show it in this clip, but after your eight double crochets, make sure you chain one. If you can see, I did not chain one, but that's not too much of a big deal. But I just recommend that you do that. And once you've slip stitched, that is your heart completed. You can just cut off your yarn and in the next clip I will show you how to actually make this square with your different colour yarn. Right where we slip stitched, as you can see I placed a stitch marker because we are going to be crocheting into that space. And it's just easier to differentiate because it is kind of a small area. But yeah, now you're just going to grab your lighter colour yarn and slip knot it onto your hook. Now take your heart and right there at the top, you're going to insert your hook into the back loop of that point. So this entire row is going to be back loop stitches. Now pull your yarn through and do a slip stitch in this back loop. In the next back loop you're going to be doing a single crochet. In the next back loop place a half double crochet. In the next back loop place a double crochet. Now in the next back loop we're going to be placing a treble crochet. So wrap your yarn around your hook twice and insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. Now chain two and place a double crochet into the next back loop. Place a half double crochet into the next back loop. Now into the back loops of the next four stitches, you're going to place single crochets. Chain two and single crochet into the back loops of the next four stitches once more. And now for the last single crochet, you kind of have to turn your work to see this little loop right there. Into that loop, you're going to insert your hook and do a normal single crochet. Wrap your yarn around your hook and right there in the middle. So remember when we started off the square where we placed our slip knot, you're going to insert your hook right there into the middle and do a half double crochet. And this is what it should look like. We've done half already. Now, right there where the stitch marker is, you can just remove your stitch marker now. And into that stitch, you're going to be placing a single crochet. So once again, we're going to be placing four single crochets into the back loops of the next four stitches. So as you can see, our hook is currently through the first slip stitch that we did through the middle stitch. And now you're just going to normally single crochet for four stitches. And now you're going to chain two and single crochet into the back loops of the next four stitches. This is the last time. And now you're going to place a half double crochet, a double crochet, 
chain two, place a treble crochet into the back loop. All of these are back loop stitches, don't forget that. A double crochet in the next stitch. A half double crochet. And lastly, a single crochet into that last back loop. Here is what you should have thus far. Very cute, our first row of the granny square. Now insert your hook back into the loop once you've finished admiring it. And we're going to slip stitch right there, that first stitch that we did. Just insert your hook and pull through both loops. And there you go, our first row is completed. So to begin row two, you're going to start by chaining three and placing two double crochets into that same space that we just slip stitched into and chained up from. Now chain one and into that chain two space, we're going to be placing three double crochets, chain two, then three more double crochets into that exact same space. And that is how we do our corners for the granny square. Now, once you've done your first corner, you're going to pull back that last stitch and count four stitches. Into that fourth stitch, you're going to insert your hook and place three double crochets. And again, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets into that chain two space. And if at any point I am going a bit too fast for you, then you can always slow down the video. I'm just speeding up these parts because if you know the stitches, then you should know what to do. Now you're just going to either count five stitches or find that stitch where you did a half double crochet and you're going to place three double crochets on top of that stitch. Now we're going to be making another corner, so three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets into that chain two space. Now from here you're going to count three stitches and into that third one you're going to insert your hook and place three double crochets. Now I don't mention it all the time but make sure that after each cluster that you do of your double crochets that you do chain one. So here I'm doing my last one. See, I chain one. That's really important because it acts as a spacer. Now we're doing our last corner so three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets into that same chain two space. And here is the completed row two. Only two more rows left of our granny square in total. So we're just going to slip stitch into that top chain of the chain three that we did. When we start off our row, make sure you've got two loops on your hook. Pull your yarn through all of the loops. And now, right where my thumb is, you see those two loops, you're going to slip stitch into there. And into the next loops. And then you're going to go through that chain one space and slip stitch. And now you're going to chain three and place two more double crochets into that space. 
And essentially this row is the same as the previous, so for corners we do the same thing. So for corner spaces we do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And for singular spaces we do three double crochets with chain one on either side. Make sure that you don't forget your chain one. But yeah, this is really it, that's the pattern. Here is my completed row 3 and now you're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain 3. You should have two loops on your hook and before you pull through you're going to grab your darker colour or the colour that you want to switch to. Mine is dark brown and you're going to kind of hook it over like so, so the yarn is hanging off and you're going to pull it through all of the loops. So we slip stitched with our new yarn. Now chain one and you're just going to slip stitch into this loop right there. So insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull it through. And you're going to do this one more time in the next stitch. And then one last time into the chain one space. Oops and then chain three and now place two double crochets into that same space here I'm just cutting off the light color yarn because we don't need it attached anymore and I'm just going to crochet over the spare bits of yarn that are hanging out just placing my two double crochets And again, as normal, we're going to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets into that corner space. And by now, hopefully, you're getting the hang of it. And yeah, so this is just going to be, again, a completely normal granny square row. Here, I have finally reached the end of the last row. Remember to chain one. And now we're going to be slip stitching into the top chain of the chain three. So insert your hook, make sure you have two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through all loops. And that is your square completed. How cute. And now all you need to do is just cut off your yarn, pull through and you're done and in total you're going to want to make 18 of these squares because for each panel of the two panels we are going to have nine squares on each so yeah i'll see you back once you have done your 18 squares so here is what one fully assembled panel looks like i have just slip stitched the nine squares together and i will be showing you how to do that in the next clip but this is just an overview of what it's going to look like. So this is the back, very neat. And then here is the panel that isn't attached yet. And I will be showing you how I attach them. It is simple, it's just slip stitches, but I want to show you, so let's get into that. Now to begin assembling your squares, you're going to take two squares and place one right way up, so front ways and then one upside down, so that once we attach them, they will be correct. And now for the entire assembly process, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook and you're going to take whatever yarn color you want. I'm using my darkest color. And you're just going to make a slip knot onto your hook. And then insert your hook into the first chain of the chain two space. And you're going to insert your hook into the other square in the exact same space. Make sure that you have two loops on your hook. And then you're going to take your yarn and do a slip stitch. This is how I assembled everything, just using slip stitches. So pull through all of the loops on your hook. And then you're going to go into the next chain. 
make sure you go through two loops and then go through the other chain on the other side. And that really is the entire assembly process. You're just going to go through the same stitches on both squares. Make sure you have two loops on your hook and pull your yarn through all of the loops. And you're just going to do this all the way until you reach the end of the square. Just going through the same stitches and I'll meet you back once I've finished. And here I've reached the end of the row, so now you can just take your scissors and cut off your yarn and pull it through. And now we've attached two squares together facing the right ways. So all you need to do is attach one more square to the end of that. Attach it exactly the same way using the slip stitches. And you're going to need to make two more rows or two more columns. So three more squares, single crocheted the exact same way. And then I'll show you how I attach those. So to begin attaching the two columns that you made, you're going to take your 3.5mm hook and make a slip knot using whatever colour yarn you want. And then you're going to take your two columns and we are going to be attaching them vertically. So now, same way as we did before, you're going to make sure that the wrong sides are facing out and you're going to take your hook and insert it into the first chain of the chain 2 and then do the same thing on the other column and then take your yarn and slip stitch it through all of the loops that are on your hook so you should have 4 from both sides in total And then, really, this is the same thing as we did before. You're just going through the same stitches on both panels. Hopefully, you should be getting the hang of this now. And you're just going to slip stitch all the way along until you reach the end of the row. And that is when I'll meet you back. So here's just me showing you what I've done so far. So you're just going to slip stitch all the way down until you reach the end and then you'll cut off your yarn and once you've done that you're then going to attach your last column for one panel and that will be one of your panels down and you have to attach three more columns together for the last panel and yeah you'll just slip stitch that and I'll meet you back. So here I've gone ahead and I've slip stitched the two panels together. Now before you shout at me, it is the same thing. I just attached my yarn at the top of the two panels and I just slip stitched all the way across the sides, the bottom and then up again. And here I'm showing you the right side is inside. All is left is to flip it outwards and then we'll just have the strap to make which I'll show you in the next clip. Okay, so now we are going to be making the strap. So you're going to take your 4mm hook and make a slip knot onto it. I'm using my lightest colour here. And you're going to chain 9. Once you've chained your 9, you're going to chain 1 extra, so you should have 10 chains. Now you're going to insert your hook into the second chain from your hook. Make sure that you have both the top and middle loop on your hook. And then you're just going to do a single crochet. So all you're going to be doing for this entire row is just single crocheting down the row. But it's important that you have both loops on your hook, so the top and middle, so that it doesn't stretch out the chain. And you're just going to do this until the end of the row. 
Now I've reached the end of my row and you're just going to chain one and you're going to turn your work and we are going to do this at the end of every single row. So we're just going to be turning our work and now you're going to insert your hook on into the back loop. So you should only have one loop on your hook and then just going to single crochet normally and we are only going to be doing back loop single crochets for the entire strap. So only when we started, we went through both the loops. Now you're only going to want to have that one back loop. And you are just going to keep on doing this, keep on single crocheting into the back loops and then chaining one and turning your work until around about 25 inches. That's what the perfect length was for me, but it's really up to you. But that's just what I did. Before we attach the strap, you're going to want to attach a yarn around about the seam here and you're going to want to single crochet all the way across into every stitch until you reach the middle of the next panel. So here, as you can see, I have single crocheted all the way and now we just have one middle single crochet to do. And now once you've reached this point, you're going to want to chain five because I'm adding a button. Now this really is specific to your button size. So in a minute you'll see me measuring, but I used around five chains for my button. And once you're done, you're just going to continue single crocheting normally into every stitch until you reach the seam. And then you'll slip stitch and cut off your yarn. And then we can attach the strap. And then I'll show you how to attach the button and we'll be done with our cute bag. So here I just took my tapestry noodle and I threaded some of my dark brown yarn onto it. And I am just sewing on the strap. I feel like this is more of a visual thing. I'm not really sure how to explain it. But I am out of <laughs> shots a lot of the time. But yeah, all I did was I just went through the strap. And then the stitches as well. Sewing it on. So as you can see, I'm going through the back of the strap. And the stitch as well. So it's kind of like a back front thing. But yeah. You should get the hang of this. There probably are like many ways to attach the strap, but this is just what worked for me. And this is my attached strap. She looks quite cute, quite neat. And now you're just going to do this for the other side and we can get to attaching the button. Now take your button. I'm using this cute pink one and you are going to measure out where you chained your five so for me it was the middle stitch so that's where i'm inserting my needle and then i'm inserting it through one of the holes of the button and then you're going to insert your needle into the other hole and through the other stitch And then I went through the stitches one more time and the hole just to make sure that it's secure. And then once you went through it, that is your button attached. All I did was I just knotted them together once or twice to make sure that it's extra secure and then after that you can just tuck away all of your extra strings and that is the completed tote bag how cute this is my first tote bag and it turned out so cute thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed and if you did please do let me know because that means so much to me